Threading taps are incredibly useful tools that allow you to fix damaged threads and create new ones. Taps have features that make them more suited for certain jobs. Let's look at some of these differences. For most situations, there are two materials used. Inexpensive carbon steel, used for repairing damaged threads, or general purpose high-speed steel, used to produce new threads in most common materials. More challenging applications may require taps made from special alloys. Common taps may have two, three, or four flutes. Two flutes have the most space for chips. This is better for soft materials like aluminum. Three and four flutes can improve alignment when hand tapping, helping you cut an accurate thread. They also work better with harder materials thanks to the additional cutting edges. Flute type should be decided based on the hole you're tapping. Hand taps typically have straight flutes. They can be used in bottoming or through holes, but may not have the best life. Spiral points, also called gun taps, break up chips and drive them forward. These should only be used with through holes to avoid packing. Spiral flute taps work like a drill, pulling chips up as it cuts. This allows you to create threads close to full depth. Taps are thinner at the front, making it easier to start the hole. This is called the chamfer angle, and there are three common types. Taper chamfer is the longest, reducing stress on the cutting edge and giving the best life. If you use this in a bottoming hole, it will only create partial threads near the point. A plug chamfer falls in the middle. It's good for general use and covers a wide variety of situations. Bottoming chamfers get as close as possible to the bottom of a hole. They won't give you maximum tool life because all cutting stress is applied to the first couple teeth. If this video helped solve your threading issue, subscribe for more helpful tech tips.